Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use the Rotated Variance tool. It's basically a way to not go crazy repeating work a bunch of times on tile prefabs that are just rotated versions of each other. So let's do Tiled Rotated Variance tool. With the Rotated Variance tool we can designate that this tile here is just a rotated version of this tile, for example. And this is a huge bonus for us because what it does is allow us to use a single prefab for all four of these variants. So let's say I want to add a tree to this tile, or a sound, or a collision, but what I really want to do is add it to all four rotated versions. By using the rotated prefab tool, all these will become the same prefab. And then I can add things to one and all four get updated. So first let's set up the options and I set my directory to assets tiled tiles. And let's do one. As you can see all these tiles are positioned in patterns that match one of these diagrams. And see right here these four are in the small pattern. So I choose the tile corresponding to the red position in the pattern and press small. If it worked properly, you should note two things. Firstly, it looks like it selected all the corresponding variants. In fact, these are not your old variants. Those three were deleted. What is selected are four instances of the same source prefab, and three of them are new instances of the prefab of the tile that was in the red slot. Secondly, if we take a look in our prefab folder, you'll note that it created a single model prefab only. The other tiles are represented by empty game objects with a component called stand-in. A stand-in is basically what it sounds like. It's a pointer to another prefab. It just tells step 3 that when it's time to place the tiles, if it runs into a stand-in, to look at this other prefab in here, which of course corresponds to the prefab that is being used by all of these tiles. And you don't have to care too much about this, but I wanted to show you how it works since it might help you debug a problem in the future. Now I'm going to show you how to do this for everything very quickly. Let's select all the matching red ones that I can find. So for example, all of these are red tiles for the 90 vert pattern. So now just hit the button once. And bam, all the variants are set up. So now let's do all the small. And done. And these are the large. Done. Cross. Done. And now down here I have some funky ones. These are dipped down. And these are dip up. And as I'm doing this, I hope you can see how much work this is going to save us since we won't have to manage separate prefabs for all of this stuff. Because now we've reduced the things we have to manage probably close to a factor of four. So in just a few minutes, I designated all the rotated variants for this huge sheet with 1,080 tiles. Let's change one just to prove it works. I'll make a cube and parent it to this one. I update and see. Okay, and here's a tip. If you designate all your rotated variants before running step one, step one will run a lot faster because it won't be creating unnecessary prefabs for rotated variants that really only need stand-ins.